Good morning, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving Day. I figured I would show you guys. I get asked all the time what like my hair routine is like. Today's the day where I'm gonna share that with you. I look absolutely disgusting because I worked out this morning. Uh, so now I'm gonna wash my hair and do it and do all that. But the first thing that I do before I wash my hair is that I put on some coconut oil all over my hair. I know they have hair oils and I know they have hair masks and for a while I used to do a very bougie hair mask but honestly I did not want to spend $60 on a hair mask again and I find that coconut oil has been working really well. I just put it on before I wash it and I leave it on for a few hours if possible. So I just put I just warm it up in my hand because it's kind of cold outside today so it's like solidified and then I just put it all over my hair and I bought this giant tub of coconut oil at Costco I'm not sure how much it costs but it definitely is a lot cheaper than the bougie hair mask I don't put it on my roots though because that would be kind of a pain to wash away so I just kind of focus on the ends and I'll do this all over my hair We are all oiled up. And now we're just gonna let this sit for a couple of hours. So I pitter patter and do other things around the house. Looking absolutely gorgeous. And then uh, we'll wash this off in a little bit. I'll check in with you then. And we're out of the shower. Washed it all off. I did do the shampoo twice to really get the, I was gonna say olive oil, coconut oil <laughs> out. And I already did my makeup because that's a whole other process. And I should have just prefaced this whole section of the vlog by saying, I'm not a beauty vlogger. I am no beauty expert. I have no expertise, special training or anything when it comes to dealing with hair or makeup, but I do enjoy it. And what I do have is years of experience dealing with my own frizzy, curly, wavy hair. So that's what this is about. It's my routine. You guys have asked for it, so I'm sharing. That's it. Don't come for me if this is not like, correct or whatever. I do use heat protector so I use the Olaplex number six. It was actually one of you guys that told me about this. It was a subscriber that told me about it and I have not looked back because let me tell you my natural hair it's a wild thing. We got waves, we got curls, we got volume for days but not in a good way. Uh, so now I just blow dry it and like I said, I do have years of dealing with this. So I've gotten pretty good at blow drying my own hair. But I just um, separate it into sections and just blow dry straight for the whole thing. It takes a little bit because I got a lot of hair. So let's actually see. It's 147 right now. I need to be done in 15 minutes because today may be Thanksgiving and it's a special day. But most importantly, Brazil's playing the World Cup. They're playing the World Cup. And... You know I don't really care about sports ball, but I do care about the World Cup, and I'm so excited. I need to watch Brazil play, so I got 13 minutes to finish this somehow, so I better get to blow drying. Oh, and I'll link this um, in the description below. I really do like it. It's very strong, and it does make the blow drying quicker, so uh, I'll link all of this, all of this nonsense in the description below. We're done blow drying. It's two o'clock. <laughs> uh, but just really quickly before I take a break, um, one thing I do after I'm done blow drying it is I do uh, just cold air all over to kind of put the little bit of a frizzies down. All right, it's World Cup time. Let's watch the Brazil game and then I'll finish this in a minute. <laughs> At halftime, in 45 minutes actually. All right, we are at halftime. It's 0-0 zero, zero still. Like every single World Cup, every four years, I'm reminded of why I do not watch sports regularly. I, I can do absolutely nothing about what those players are doing out there and I care way too much. This is not fun. I mean, it's fun when they score, but then like it's, it's it, no. I don't understand how people find this fun. Usually I wouldn't take 45 minutes in between these steps, but you know now I just go in with the curling iron. I bought this 
forever ago. It's the Infinity Pro Conair. Again, I will link it in the description below. But it's a one and one fourth inch um, barrel so that I get more like kind of like those large loose curls instead of like really tight ringlets. And I don't hold it too much because I do like it to be pretty loose. And because I have such thick hair, my hair doesn't really fall. Like I have friends with really fine straight hair and so they curl it and then 20 minutes later it's fallen. Mine doesn't do that because my hair is thick and textured. So it just, it will hold whatever, you know, whatever the style it is. And I do it vertically like this just so it gets a little bit of a wave and a little bit of a curl, but nothing too dramatic. On the right side, it's always harder to do for some reason because I can't do it vertically. So, I mean, I can't do it vertically like this. It's, it's just weird. It makes me feel very uncoordinated, which facts. But I feel like the left side always looks way better than the right side. Yeah, and then I'll just go around doing this for all of this hair. It's so much hair. I'm not complaining, but it's a lot. The good thing is that I have uh, pretty dry hair. Even if I, you know, do the hair mask and do all that stuff, like, my roots are pretty dry. So I only have to go through this whole ordeal, like, every three, four days. If I have to do this every day, forget it. I, I wish I had the bone structure for a pixie cut. Like, do you know how much time I would save? My business might be 10% bigger. <laughs> Just from the time that I would, the time and energy that I would not have to put into this hair. All right, that's it. We're done here. So now I just put a couple of drops of the, like, I always have trouble saying anti-frizz, anti-frizz. You get it. Um, it always comes out anti-freeze, which I get, it's a very different thing. And just run it through, keep those flyaways down, and we're done. There you go. And now the second half of the game is starting, so I will get back to that. A very glamorous look for watching the World Cup game, but then after this, we're going to dinner at Ren and Keeley's for Thanksgiving. So there you go. That's how I get my hair to look like it always does. <laughs> you guys asked, so here it is. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys here uh, tomorrow with a new one. I'll see you next time.